All right, welcome back to the All Seasons channel. You may recognize this Generac generator. Uh, this will most likely be the last installment in this series. Um, you know, on the last video, I asked if anybody would be interested in buying this, and uh, I didn't get any takers. Uh, my brother out in Oklahoma, I'm in West Virginia, my brother in Oklahoma said, ooh, ooh, I'd like to have it. I'd like to put it on the race car trailer for the kids' race cars. I said, well, tell you what. I said, I'll see if it still runs. If it still runs, I'll replace the voltage regulator, see if it makes power. I said, if it does, would you be willing to meet me halfway, which is going to be St. Louis, Missouri? He said, yeah. So Cameron also chimed in and said, ooh, 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 I'd kind of like to have it. Right after my brother, I talked to my brother. And I said, well, I said, what are you going to do with it? He said, I just want to play with it. I said, okay. I said, well, tell you what. If, if it'll still run and the voltage regulator won't fix the no AC power issue, you can have it. So, either way, I'm going to get rid of it pretty soon. So, today, me and Cameron's going to, uh, we're going to just stand it back up and put some oil in it, see if it will still run, and um, change that voltage regulator and uh, see if it makes any AC power. So, uh, let me take you around back here. I know that backlight's horrible, but uh, uh, we're not gonna bother putting this cover or anything on right now. <clears throat> we're just gonna uh, try and stand it up, put a couple blocks under it here so that the pulleys aren't hitting the, hitting the, the table, and uh, see if it still runs, because it did set outside uncovered for like three months this winter. So uh, we're just gonna see if she runs first. We're just gonna get some, some gas hooked up to it and a battery, and we're gonna see if she'll start. It's chainsaw gas, but a little bit old, don't hurt a thing. Put the put the red wire on that nut there on that solenoid. I'll get you a wrench and snug it up. Whatever you need to do to keep from touching it. And I say it won't work because it's touching the ground strap. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to have to get a little bit creative so it don't touch nothing. That should be the wrench. Here. Just snug it up. Let me show you my little setup here. Just got the chainsaw gas yes it has a little bit of oil in it don't hurt a thing I run generators on the chainsaw gas all the time it's got a it's got a battery cable hooked up to the solenoid and we've got a battery around here hooked to the ground and let's see what happens and it, now it's gonna be super loud it has no muffler on it at all. I'll turn the breakers off. Make sure ain't nothing in the way. Let's see. Let's see if she still runs. It runs. Voltage regulator. That's the one thing I loved about Generac is the parts. Their parts were so interchangeable back in the day. You could carry one voltage regulator that fit on every one of their home standby generators and every one of their RV generators too. It was awesome. One part. Covered them all. All models. That's, that's what I loved about Generac. Now I don't mess with new Generacs anymore, so 
Probably not the same, I bet you. All I'm going to do is pull the wires off the old one one at a time and put them on the new one. Not going to mount it or anything. We're just going to, just an experiment. See if, see if it'll make power. All right. I just asked Cameron to get the, get the meter out. And uh, I'm going to uh, let him hook it up. Put black to black right through. Yeah, he did take a stab in the dark. He said black to black, red to red. All right. So, what's wrong with that picture? I said, what's wrong with that picture, Cameron? He said, you don't have a ground. That is exactly right. So in this, our green is going to be our ground. Our two whites are going to be our neutrals, because this is actually a, um, it's actually a 50 amp generator. Um, so your red and your black is going to be your, your both your legs, uh, 110 legs. So this generator will actually make 220 volts. So we're going to go let Cameron just grab us a yellow. No, we're not. No, 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 we're not. No, we're not. Get the uh, get the clamps and put on that meter. All right now. Cameron, which scale would you put the uh, meter on? Oh. Not even close. Let's go to voltage. And I can never remember which one's which. I believe the squiggly line's AC voltage, so that's that's our squiggly line. I should be able to remember that. Okay. Anyhow, I don't. <laughs> I always have to look at the meter. So, now, we are going to, we're hooked to our neutral. We're going to go ahead and Let's try the neutrals first. We're going to try one of these these 110 legs. We're going to try the black one. We'll lay this stuff where it's not touching nothing. We'll start her back up. And I'm going to flip one of the breakers on. And if, if that don't do nothing, I'll flip the other breaker on. So hang on to yours. Yeah, I kind of got to hold this regulator too. So. Sorry, Keith, no generator. It don't make power. I'm not going any deeper into it in that. I told him I'd switch a voltage regulator and see what happens. So I guess uh, this thing's going to end up going to Cameron's house. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but it'll be out of my way. That's all I really care about. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Me and Cameron's going to go fix another one, and y'all have a great day.